At 7.55 a.m. Hawaiian time, a Japanese dive bomber bearing the red symbol of the rising sun of Japan on its wings appeared out of the clouds above the island of Oahu. A swarm of 360 Japanese warplanes followed, descending on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor in a ferocious assault. A total of 2,400 Americans were killed and 1,200 were wounded, while many valiantly attempted to repel attack. Surprise attacks struck a critical blow against the U.S. and the Pacific Fleet and drew the United States into World War II. Hey DP! Today we're talking about Teen Star, Beauty and the Beast auditions, and teachers, this is a time to pass out your students' schedules, and later in the show, Scotty G will be explaining to students on what to do with them. So let's get started. I'm Becca. And I'm Mia. This is DP News. And it starts now! now. Interested in auditioning for Beauty and the Beast or just learning more about the auditions? Come to the pre-audition workshops at lunch and after school today or at lunch and after school tomorrow. Both workshops meet in the theater classroom behind the stage in the EPAC. Charger gear will be on sale this week on Thursday and Friday in front of the athletic office. Teen Star finalists were announced this Sunday and three DP students uh, were finalists. Congrats to 11th grader Audrey Harmon, 10th grader Grace Hugh, and 10th grader Joanne Tudor. Today's Tech Tip Tuesday, here's today's Tech Tip. Hey guys, Kai Costas with another Tech Tip Tuesday. For today's Tech Tip, we're going to be explaining a little bit more about live text copying. Go to your camera roll and pull up any notes that you'd like to highlight. Get decently close to your iPad and you'll see in the bottom right the live text copy button shows up. Click on that and it highlights your text. You're then able to copy, go to your notes, and then paste and they show up. You're also physically able to copy digitally uh, notes that you wrote. Same thing, go to your camera. In the bottom right, you'll see the live text copy button. Copy, highlight all the notes that you want to use, then go to your notes, paste those notes. The format isn't always good, but you're able to make some touches after you paste. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's all fixed up now. Tech Tip Tuesday. Boys soccer played mission prep on Saturday. They finished with a 2-2 tie. They also played Arroyo Grande and beat them 4-2 after a penalty kickout. Sadly, they lost their Paso Robles game 0-3, but won their East Bakersfield game 2-1. Also last Saturday, all three girls on the wrestling team won third place in the, each of their weight classes. Boys placed 13th at Newberry Park. Keep it up, Chargers. The Milpas Holiday Parade is happening on December 11th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Milpa Street. Community members wishing to participate in the parade should register at events at sbeastside.org. Featured will be local marching bands, floats, dancers, and of course, Santa Claus. Girls Soccer has a game today against Channel Islands. It starts at 6.30 and it's on the football field, so come out and support your charters. Boys Soccer plays at 6.30 today at Channel Islands High School. Boys Basketball will have a 7 o'clock game tonight against Rio Mesa. Good luck, DP. Today you will not be able to go to the library to check your yearbook photo. So tomorrow through Friday, go to the library to see if your portrait for the yearbook is correct. DP is having some winter concerts that you should attend. DP's band is having a winter band fest on December 9th in the EPAC at 7. And DP's choir is also having a winter concert on December 10th in the EPAC at 7. GSA meets at lunch in H16. They hang out, do fun arts and crafts, and sometimes have guest speakers. Students should have their schedules on paper in front of them now. Here's Sky G with information. Good morning, DP. Sky G reporting from Counseling. Um, your teachers have passed out your course request forms for Term 3 and Term 4, and I'm just going to be going over what you should be looking for. Please make sure that you have the correct form in front of you right now. Um, it's really important that you're taking care of looking at the periods, so please check the periods. Also check to see whether or not the class you're offering is a Term 3, Term 4, or whether or not it's an S, which means it's both Term 3 and Term 4. So if there's an S there, then it's covering the rest of the semester. Um, for both Term 3 and Term 4. Otherwise, you would have a English 12A and an English 12B, and those are one semester each or one term each. You should have at least a minimum of three classes every term. So please make sure you have at least three classes every term. If you see a C counselor on your form, please note what you would like to be doing with that space that that won't stay that. So if you're expecting it to be another class, or expecting it to be a free period, you're going to make a note about that. You can also see the courses that you're taking, as well as the teachers that you'll have and your room numbers. Then I'm gonna ask you to please circle the name of your counselor on your form, 
and then there's the next three steps which you can see behind me right now one you're going to just note that this is the correct schedule and just sign off that this is exactly right and i have no changes number two is that there's an error in your schedule an error in your schedule means that something's actually wrong with your schedule not that you want to make a change but that they actually gave you the wrong course for instance that they put you in ap literature and you're supposed to only be in english 12 or that they put you in french 3 and you're a first year french student those would be examples of errors in your schedule the last step is changes that you would like to make or see in your schedule. So if there's things that are on your schedule that you would like to change, whether that you're trying to change a teacher, change around the periods, drop a class, add a class, that's what you're gonna do there. Um, please feel free to also write on the back of the form um, to the best of your ability, make it as clear as you possibly can. If the schedule is able to be changed, your counsel will be working with you. Um, if you're trying to change a level, your counsel will be calling you in and you will be needing a petition where you can actually get it signed off by your parents. Um, there's no petitions right, available right now for changes. This is the form that we're using. So the only thing that you're going to be able to do is tell us whether or not this schedule is correct or if it's incorrect. And if it's incorrect, how it is incorrect. And if you would like to make changes, what changes you would like to be making. Again, teachers, if there's a student that's absent in your class, please mark absent at the top of the form. Students, please do not take this form home with you. All these forms need to be turned back in today. So if you wanna review it for a later time, use your iPad or your phone, take a picture of the form, but please do not keep the form. We need the forms back today. Teachers, please have a student um, return all of the forms to the counseling office as soon as you collect all of the forms from your students. And again, if there's a student absent, please mark absent on the top of the form and return that form and we will get that form to their counselor. Students, you may see that you're enrolled in a spring sport. Um, that spring sport may require a tryout. If that sport requires a tryout, you are responsible to make sure that you check the website for the information regarding that tryout and that you make the team. So just because you see that you're on a team currently for the spring does not mean that you are officially on that team until you take care of making the tryout and the coach gives us your name. So if you're not going to be trying out for that sport, please let us know. Thank you, DP, and have a great day. Girls Lacrosse has varsity tryouts today and tomorrow at 3.45 to 5 p.m. on the lower soccer field. Well, that's all for today, Chargers. We hope you enjoyed today's episode of DP News. And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.